Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Perazzo and I will present the work The OCD as a Platform for Human Movement Analysis, a case study. This work was done at the Universidade Federal de Pernambuco and Voxel Labs. Firstly, what is the context and motivation for this work? Computer vision is everywhere. As advances in computer vision keep happening, have seen the development of many real-world applications, such as object and face recognition, scene segmentation, human and object tracking, and many more. For these kinds of applications, one current challenge is to make embedded AI, that is AI that is processed inside embedded systems, such as a Raspberry Pi. Lately, we have seen the development of highly specialized embedded systems for these kinds of tasks, such as the Jetson Nano. We chose for a solution the OpenCV AI Kit with Depth, OCG, that features a high-resolution camera, significant compute power, and a chip that can run deep learning models. Moreover, it is also tiny, the size of a Raspberry Pi. Now, let's present the related works. Regarding pose estimation, one of the most well-known AI models is the open pose. This system enables 2D pose estimation of the human body, returning information about each limb, head and chest. Many authors use this information to perform human movement analysis. For instance, Gamma and colleagues use such a system in the context of rehabilitation and physiotherapy. This work computes the angles between the bones to make comparisons between the ground truth pose and the current arc, so that it can detect movement. In the context of sports, this type of information can be used in a football match, for example, as done by Stein and colleagues, by identifying weaknesses, performance, and potential improvements for better strategies. Other applications use the Microsoft Kinect camera for biomechanics analysis for single-player exercises in the same sports-oriented vein. After the release of the Oak G, we noticed that this device has the potential to be a real game-changing platform for embedded AI applied to many fields. To test our hypothesis and be inspired by how exercises at home became very popular during the COVID-19 pandemic, we decided to develop a case study using the OCG as a platform for human movement analysis. We built a solution to analyze people's at-home workouts called Motion Analysis for Home Gym System, MAX, for our case study. We used the OCG for the open pose inference since our model of OCG does not have a Bluetooth a Wi-Fi module, we use the PC or Raspberry Pi to compute the skeleton and send data to a smartphone via Wi-Fi. Finally, the smartphone via a Unity app calculates the body angles of the structure and returns this feedback to the user. So, the OpenVIN integration with the OCG enabled us to infer joint heat maps and recover the depth range of the scene. This data will further be computed in a 3D skeleton via PC or Raspberry Pi. A significant challenge for this application was the near real-time feedback. To improve our FPS, we decreased the image resolution and improved from 6 to 50 on the PC from 3 to 7 FPS in a Raspberry Pi 4 and achieved 3 FPS in a Raspberry Pi 3. To perform our motion analysis, we used the iCap software, developed by Gamma and colleagues. 
This software is a motion analysis framework that, given the skeletal representation of the user, enables him to analyze his movement. This framework was developed in-house using Unity. With this information, we give feedback to the user regarding his movement. This type of feedback will enable the user to correct his pose. We also count the number of repetitions and create a mirror image of the skeleton of the user. And with this, we created our at-home workout system. We tested our system with two popular movements, the side lateral raise and the squat. The hypothesis we tried were is the oak G able to detect the 3G human pose? Is the motion analysis system able to see and propose corrections to wrong movements? Is the motion analysis system able to correctly count repetitions? Validated our hypothesis with a series of tests and performed many exercises with our current solution. As we can see, have the skeleton imitated user, the open pose annotations, the feedback provided the type of exercise, the number of repetitions, and the message of correction when the user is executing the movement poorly. Now we reach our final conclusions. The OCD is suitable for many computer vision applications, has enough computational power, is portable, it is relatively low cost compared with other solutions. A case study highlights that the OG could be used as an aid for home workouts. We plan on further developing this technology. For example, we are improving our system to allow movements and test our system as input for virtual reality scenarios. System won third place in the first OPCV AI competition, sponsored by Intel. Thank you all for the attention.